Savers are facing shocking new restrictions on tax-free pension lump sums. Is your retirement at risk? Today, I'm diving into a topic that's hit quite a few retirees hard recently. The tax-free lump sum withdrawals from pensions. Specifically, why some savers are regretting their decision to withdraw ahead of Rachel Reeves' budget. So, here's the deal. In the run-up to Labour's budget last month, there was widespread panic among savers. Rumours were swirling that the tax-free lump sum allowance could be slashed to £100,000. Currently, you can withdraw 25% of your personal pension tax-free up to a hefty £268,275. Naturally, this sent folks rushing to get their cash out while they still could. But here's where things get tricky. Leading pension providers, Scottish widows, perhaps you've heard of them, doesn't allow cancellations of tax-free lump sum withdrawals, even though it's a standard practice in the industry. This has left many savers in a bit of a pickle. Investment firms like Best Invest saw a massive spike in withdrawal requests in October. Their data shows that the panic was especially strong among those aged 55 and over, all eager to access their 25% tax-free lump sum. But when the budget finally rolled around, Miss Reeves decided against any changes to the tax-free lump sum allowance. Now, some savers are left regretting their hasty decisions, realising they acted too soon. So what can you do if you're in this boat? Well, it all depends on your pension provider. Of the 13 pension providers that Telegraph Money approached, only Scottish widows outright refused to allow any cancellation within a 30-day cooling-off period. Other providers might let you reverse your decision, but only if the entire amount withdrawn is returned in full. Jason Hollands, Managing Director of Evelyn Partners, sums it up well. He said, Shifting assets from a tax-efficient pension into a taxable environment could prove a regrettable decision for those who did so with no clear intended purpose for the cash. His advice? Contact your pension provider immediately to see what options might be available. A Scottish widow spokesperson mentioned that once funds are crystallised, it's game over, you can't reverse it. But if the money hasn't left their account yet, they can stop the payment. Confusing, right? Aegon, another big player, offers a cooling off period on some of their products, but not all. They recommend reviewing policy documents or getting in touch with your financial advisor for clarity. So if you're feeling the pang of regret after a hasty withdrawal, don't despair just yet. Reach out to your pension provider, understand your options and take it from there. Thanks for tuning in to Make Dollars Online. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more tips on building your wealth. Stay smart, stay informed and we'll see you in the next video.